Hi guys, it's Debbie from HealingFromBPD.org. Please excuse the mess in the background. I'm in a different room, so that's it is what it is. Uh, so, I blogged a little bit yesterday, or actually this morning. I posted it, but I blogged it last night on my second blog, which is MyDailyDBT.com, where I'm sharing snippets of personal experience, but mostly skills-focused posts. Yes, you want to say hi? He always wants to say hi to you guys. Hello from Frankie. Um, so it's a more skills-focused blog uh, as opposed to healing from bpd.org. That was Frankie getting up there, um, which is usually much more personal, but it's changing. You guys can see all about that if you go to that website. Anyhow, so last night I decided to watch a documentary on Netflix, and don't worry, there is going to be a trigger warning in this video, but I'll warn you, and then I'll let you know, like, through some kind of physical uh, movements that it's over, so if you're fast-forwarding, you can re resume the video. Okay, so, um... I decided to watch a documentary last night on Netflix. It was one of those it's recommended for you type of things. And, you know, I'm a vegetarian, and the one thing I hadn't given up yet was tuna, though that's happening now. Um, I'm having a really dialectical experience, I think, with wanting to be vegan and also really liking dairy food. However, uh, based on the things that I saw yesterday, which I had been told before um, by friends who are vegan, but hadn't, like, I just couldn't believe that that was really happening type of deal. Um, the certain things that happen to cows that are dairy cows and animals in general that are um, intended for food purposes and that go through the, you know, the huge factory farms and everything. Uh, so when I did see what I saw, I got really, really, really upset. I mean, like, completely, like, just so dysregulated, it wasn't even funny. I was crying, I was sobbing, my cats were scared. Like, I have this cry sometimes when something gets me really emotional, and it's not frequent, but when it does, my cats are just like, they're like, what the heck is going on? Are you okay, mommy? Um, yeah, so it was like one of those types of experiences, and I was just like in so much pain knowing like what, what had happened, and I feel like by eating dairy, I am contributing to the problem, because I know people think, oh, well, if you just stop eating dairy, how is that going to make a huge impact or a difference? But I realized I was drinking a half a gallon of cow's milk a week by myself, you know. So that's two gallons a month times 12 months a year. That's 24 gallons. And then when you think of, I eat tons of cheese. So I think, I mean, it may not be as noticed, but collectively with other people who are doing it, I believe it will make an impact. But bigger than that, it's in my heart just knowing that if I'm consuming that, the, the pain and suffering that likely went into um, making that food for me, which is unnecessary for me to eat. And then I have the other side of me who's a pretty much a dairy holic. I mean, if there is such a thing, I'm, I could be addicted to dairy. I don't know. I love cheese. I love ice cream. I love all these things that um, are dairy, butter. And I know that there are alternative products out there, so... I want to try those and I picked up some things today. I picked up some shredded soy mozzarella, some cheddar soy um, cheese slices, uh, what else did I get? Some um, some meat that's like ground beef that's, but it's soy, um, that's not for dairy, but I just thought it would be cool to make meatballs out of that. And I guess I'm just trying to take it where, you know, I'm not, it's so hard to, tr to not try to be perfect. And to say, I'm going to completely cut out all dairy 100% right now, which I could do, and which some people do actually do that, um, especially after seeing a movie like this. Um, or 
I could try not to be so extreme, which is what I think would be the healthiest thing for me mentally. Um, I don't know how I'm going to have the conscience to eat anything that has milk or cheese in it. But then I know that it's been a, those have been favorite foods of mine for a long time. So basically what I'm doing is buying some of the alternative products and putting them into the mix. Like I bought some vanilla soy milk and ever since I got it yesterday, that's I, I stopped drinking the cow's milk. Um, so like just replacing things slowly but surely. But, you know, if I occasionally do get a craving for something, I'm going to have to you know, put that craving up against my conscience and say, do I want to have this? Am I going to feel guilty? How am I going to handle it? And um, this next couple of sentences is a quick trigger warning, not about the animals, but about um, eating disorders. So I will go like this when I'm done talking about it, if you want to um, fast forward through it. So... I have something called eating disorder not otherwise specified. Sometimes you'll see on Twitter EDNOS, that's what that stands for. So you're not anorexic, you're not bulimic, but you have issues around food. And I'll give you an example. It hasn't happened in a long time, thank goodness, but there will be times where I'll feel like I don't have an appetite and I have to force myself to eat. And um, then I will perceive that I'm like starving or emaciating like losing weight but I'm eating so much to compensate for it I'm actually gaining weight so it's kind of like the opposite of anorexia <laughs> where you think you're fat and so you don't eat and mine is like you think you're wasting away so you eat like a nut ball and um and so and then I go from one extreme to the other so I just have to be really careful that any shift in diet for me from what I've noticed, I can't just do an overnight thing. It's just not its not good for my mental health. So, let me take people back from the trigger warning. Okay, I'm done talking about that trigger. Um, so, yes, I'm going to try to do it mindfully and coping and dealing with the, the dialectic of wanting to completely quit and wanting to um, go slowly and more healthfully mentally. I know probably physically it'd be more healthful to just stop eating all those things. Personally, my opinion, not a doctor, I don't know. Um, and so, yeah, for those who can handle it and who are not gonna get completely dysregulated or who already know what happened to um, what happens to factory farm animals, I am going to talk a little bit about what I saw that I found so disturbing and that kept me up last night until almost 2 o'clock in the morning. I was tweeting at 1 a.m. Um, I was so upset. Like, I was haunted by the pictures. Just, I, I couldn't get it out of my head. Um, and what I saw was, and here's the trigger warning, and I will do this again for a few seconds when I'm done just so you can see. Um, it would be so funny if someone just like paused that and made an avatar of me going like, I don't like jazz hands, you know, but it's seriously. Um, so the things that disturb me the most, that make me feel like I could not have that food ever again, um, is that number one, they artificially inseminate cows so that they will produce milk because you know that's how they produce milk is they have to be pregnant so they do that and the cow is in like this little tiny space that has no room to really even move around becomes pregnant then they let them go outside they have the baby what I saw was um, the baby cow was born and it was with the mom and it was going to have some milk and these two excuse me but I guys is how I perceive them and that's a huge judgment and I have to deal with all of that dragged the baby cow by his back legs as he was crying and the mother was crying and looking back for her baby dragged it away and said that that was going to become veal that animal and then the milk from the mother cow was going to be made for milk for us humans and then they were going to re-inseminate the cow and start the whole process all over again sorry I have cat fur on my nose yeah, so that image, and then the other one was the baby chicks were hatching from the eggs and looking around, and there was no mama bird 
They were being born in if a factory you're under so hot lights. In need of knowing what I saw, the movie is called Vegucated, and it's on Netflix. It's an excellent movie. It's not all about that, but it is partially about that, especially when it comes to the ethical reasons for becoming vegan. So just to warn you, it's not an easy watch. But I will tell you that I, I had to use a couple of DBT skills to help me to get to sleep last night. One of them was uh, counting the breath. So you breathe in, count one, breathe out count two, breathe in, count three, breathe out, count four, and you go up to ten and then you start all over again. And often what happens is you lose track of the count and you just start over. And that happened to me a few times. After a couple of minutes of doing the mindful breathing, I did feel a lot more relaxed and my mind felt a little bit like more focused on what I was doing. Um, I had to radically accept that those things are going on in the world, probably even as I lay in my bed, it was going on somewhere in the world, that I can't stop it all, I can only do my part, and that I just needed to focus on getting to sleep and taking care of my body at that moment in time. And so I did more breathing exercises and eventually I fell asleep, which was wonderful. Um, I didn't see how I was going to. First thing on my mind, one of the first things on my mind this morning was those images. Again though, I can't can't say otherwise because that's how it was. So I did what I needed to do. I went to the grocery store, bought some alternative products, had my soy milk in the morning, had um, a delicious vegan burrito from Chipotle. It was really good. Um, and yeah, so that's what's going on right now. And just noticing how dysregulated I became. Um, I love animals, so it's just really hard to hear anything about animal suffering. I just, yeah. So anyhow, thanks for watching, and I will continue to practice applying skills as I cope with the changes that I'll be going through. Um, that weren't just like totally like a BPD thing out of nowhere. I have been considering doing this and I have been switching over to a vegetarian diet and I have been starting to cut down on dairy. So it wasn't just like I was a this major carnivore and all of a sudden I saw this movie and instantly I have to become a vegetarian or a vegan because I've done things like that in my life too as part of the BPD. So, but this is not one of those things. So anyway, Thank you for watching and I look forward to connecting with you again here and on my blog and I will talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye.